Hey guys, we're gonna watch through a clip of Envy against Gambit in the finals. This is a map that Gambit won its haven and they actually never played it in officials. So we're gonna dive right into it and check what happened. So this is a um, half buy from Gambit. They actually uh, are trying to save in this round and we see a really good anti-eco uh, by Envy. They are positioned very well on the map. They have an alarm bot checking A, they have players checking mid, and they also have two players checking C. This is really good because um, usually in this type of rounds, the defenders would like to push and create like an advantage. They try to push up and take a pick with the sheriff and so on. So Envy is doing a really good job at keeping uh, the, the map controlled, basically. So we roll the clip. And as you can see, this is really good reaction from Envy, getting the pick on Defo. And this is again on the point of they're controlling the map, they're controlling the enemy pushes. So they're doing a really good job right now. You can see also Cassis is holding A long. So everything is controlled. They're taking even deeper space towards C. They're dogging through, clearing everything that they can. But Gambit is actually having a really good read here. And instead of giving up C, they're re-smoking it and they start stacking towards C. And that creates more pressure. That shows that even though Defo died um, pushing up C long, they're still there. So with this control that Envy has, they know everything about C, they know everything about A. So they have a really good read, which is B is open. So now they're going towards B and they're grouping up. The uh, Cassis is getting the spike, as we can see. So he's also grouping up to execute towards B. But this is where actually things uh, fall apart. And why is it falling apart? Because Nuts is actually getting an incredible timing. He is pushing up towards A. He's killing the alarm bot that actually scouted him. But Envy is way too busy going towards B, still grouping up to hit the B side. So Nuts, instead of being greedy, overpicking uh, towards C long, he just gets into window. And that is really smart because Crassis, as we see, is gonna go towards B, try to get the plant down, and Nuts is actually there to disrupt it. He gets the ding, doesn't actually get the kill, but this is where Chronicle just goes huge. Because with this play, Nuts just basically forced the player that tried to plant the bomb, he forced him to go towards the links, as I'm um, showcasing here. So Crassis goes towards ceiling, but that's where the rest of the uh, Gambit players are. And this is really good uh, strategy and really good synergy by the Gambit players. And as a result, G uh, Chronicle just goes off. He gets three, Nuts gets one, and that immediately becomes a 1v2 situation uh, for Gambit. And this is going to be a pause, I'll let it play. And if we fast forward this, But here I want to stop again and show this, which is crazy. And this is why people call him Rats. Nats has an insane timing again. He cleared all the way. He went through all the way to spawn into B and everything. And now Victor is trying to get some information with his bird. He's trying to get the sound cue of like, where, where is Nats, you know? And actually Nats gets the perfect timing here. He dodges the bird, keeps calm, boom. Victor never saw it coming, they win the round. That's a half buy, and that's a really good showcase of why Gambit is the number one team. Because of their synergy, because of their good team play and individual skill as we saw Chronicle going off and getting a 3K. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope I see you the next time.